we now welcome Jonathan Seckler. We're happy to have you here. Senior Director, ISG Solutions Service and Partners, Dell Technologies. How you doing? Hey, great to be here. Good to have you how, here, my how friend. You doing? Uh, very good, very good. We're happy uh, having a good time at the desk, enjoying the show. Happy to yeah. be here in person. You know it. Now, we're going to discuss, you've been hearing this topic over and over again at the show because it is a massive thing. And I know that we're going to have actually Jeff, uh, Jeff uh, Clark's going to speak on it uh, a little bit tomorrow as well. Right. Uh, but we have, uh, we have him here to discuss generative AI, or Gen AI, right, for short, so we can help you drive innovation operations gain competitive differentiation so why don't we just get right into it uh, sure. what do you think what's the quickest way to understand what generative AI is so yeah you know um, generative AI it, most people think of it as like chat GPT right mm -hmm. or uh, Google has something called Bard it's a uh, it, there there's all these uh, tools out there you type in a question it gives you an answer or you ask it to do something that gives you an answer I think the best way to think about what it is it's like um, it's like talking to like a really precocious, you know, eight-year-old, you know, <laughs> oh, who, boy, watch who knows a lot of stuff, knows how to read, but uh, you know, hasn't yet been out in the world to understand what some of the things he's reading about is, you know. So, and that's yeah. for now, right? Like, and what happens now. when that eight-year-old turns into an 800-year-old? That's right. That's right. That's what everyone's uh, everyone's afraid of. That I think we've got a long way to go to worry about that. I think the real opportunity, though, uh, is not going to be. I mean, there is an opportunity for ChatGPT and Google and Bing and all those kind of cool things. Mm -hmm. But the real, I think, opportunity for business is going to be how do you take an AI model like ChatGPT and apply it inside your business, inside your enterprise, right? To um, kind of reduce the, um, you reduce the cognitive load on your employees, right? Ooh. Making them more productive, right? Now they don't have to go find out you know, some information to do something. The information's there, right? Now they can just do it, right? And that's where it's, I think, it's going to get really interesting as, as businesses and enterprises start applying these techniques inside the business as opposed to, you know, trying to use the internet in a way that everyone's using the internet, right? So Totally, and that's awesome. And, and I know how it goes is normally, like, once you do reduce that cognitive load, it's, uh, it's not that you now have you live with a whole bunch of free time now is that you actually usually still stay busy it's just you now focus on more important things or things that exactly uh, more creative else. things right yeah. more let's you know dare we say fun things right yeah. you know instead of you know having to know you know what the um, you know the you know you know what your gross margin is in Croatia you know in the third quarter <laughs> now you can just decide like what's the best way to build a marketing strategy to improve things in Croatia you know or, or you know something like that right Sure. We're, we're really witnessing, we're in the middle of witnessing something it is a, wild right now. You know, it's funny. Every, every uh, economic downturn has been solved, right, by some kind of technology innovation, mm -hmm. if you think about it, right? Going back at least 25, 30 years, we've, you know, we had an, an economic downturn after, you know, Y2K solved largely by um, the Internet, right? People using the Internet for, uh, for business. Uh, we had the rise of social networks after, you know, 2004. Uh, 2008, we had, you know, the cloud, public cloud. So I think here we are, it's 2020s. We're hearing all kinds of dire news about, pro, you know, um, you know uh, uh, downturns potentially and inflation and all these other things. The way we're going to solve this is by uh, applying technology to what we do to make us our, ourselves more productive, which makes, I think, all of us you know, more successful and, and, and it's going to pull us out of, you know, this downturn, right? Pull us out of the doldrums, if you will, exactly. right? Exactly. Now, what is Dell, what exactly is Dell doing? What are we doing? So the interesting thing is, is we have actually a very robust um, AI portfolio. You know, we, uh, we talk about Dell validated designs for AI. Uh, we've been working with NVIDIA and VMware for a couple of years now on architectures and models and applications for how to apply v, uh, AI into your business. And um, got some really exciting stuff coming up uh, tomorrow, actually, where we're going to be talking uh, with NVIDIA uh, about how we can do generative AI in a really powerful way. Very, very cool. So it, it, do we technically have solutions right now, or is it kind of in the We works? do. I mean, generative AI is, a, is, a, is an AI model that's applied uh, with, with, you know, there's, there's a bunch of open source models that exist out there that you can you put on our uh, you know industry leading uh, power edge servers and our and our uh, you know our power scale uh, storage uh, you you uh, you run it in a in an nvidia ai enterprise environment kind of thing and you've got a generative ai application we can do that today 
Uh, what we'll be talking about tomorrow is like taking that to the next level. So next dialing level. it up to 11, you know? So, yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're waiting for that. will be like first thing in the morning where we'll be able to turn that volume up volume a little to bit. 11, exactly. It'd be crazy if we could have you back and kind of, you know, ask you after we hear, after we hear the keynote tomorrow. It'd be cool. Uh, so what's, what about this? Well, you know, the X's and O's, the dollars and cents, the, the tax of the, you know, the, th the brass tax, right? Well, what's the actual benefit to the business? To the business. Right? I think, so I, you know, I've been doing a lot of research on this you know, over the past few months. And what, I'm, what I hear a lot about and what resonates with me is, it is, this is really about changing the game from an employee productivity standpoint, right? Um, I was re watching a, ble a Bloomberg uh, broadcast and they, there was a, an analyst on there that said that um, AI has the potential to increase employee productivity four times in the next two years, wow. right? So like huge, huge productivity gains. And it's not about, and I want to, and I have to address this right away because I know that's the first thing people go to is, well, that means you can, you know, employ AI instead of employees. And that's not what we're seeing, right? This is about making people productive in a way that they've never been before and giving them opportunities to do the kinds of things that they would, I think they want to do and have always wanted to do if, if they just had the opportunity, you know, if they just didn't have the, have to um, go through the, you know, the slog of, of you know, finding out information to, to actually apply it, you know? Well, thank you so much. It's, I cannot believe we're running out of time. I could literally go on all day with this. If you see, I have so much generative art, by the way, in my phone right now. I stayed the first night. I got it. I stayed up the whole night. I literally saw that the sunrise. That is impressive. Yeah, insane. yeah. It, it, is that impressive? I don't know. Well, it's, it's, it's something. I think it's, it's really cool that anyone can get access to it today. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, we're seeing that real interest. We're really making, you know, uh, Jensen Wang said something like, this is the iPhone moment, mm -hmm. right, for, for AI. And it really is, but really where you're gonna see the benefit is, is gonna be in the business. It's gonna be an enterprise. And it's not gonna be the big AI solutions. They're gonna be small targeted AI solutions. Solutions for business, solutions for your, your operational you know, systems of record, solutions for your marketing, for your coding, all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. Folks, Mr. Yes. Jonathan Seckler, Senior Director, ISG Solutions Service and Partners, Dell Technologies. We thank you guys so much. We hope we can have you back, man. We gotta hear more about this. All right, We're yeah. going to break, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you.